Welcome to the Poor Podcast. I am Mike Lake in the building. I'm Steve Cash, Money Bags, aka the Fitness Eddie. What's shaking? I ain't shit, man. What's good, man? It's a, it's uh, what's this episode thirteen? We ain't did that in a long time. Just said whatever number episode it was. Okay, teenage <laughs> years. Yeah, we out here. Just hitting puberty mm. a little bit, a little peach fuzz, peach fuzz episode. Peach fuzz. Let's start off with uh, what we drinking today? We were a little foreign. Both of us feeling foreign. Oh, no, nah, this is my favorite uh, French brandy. I yeah. don't know it's French, and I still can't pronounce the word, and, I'm, and I've been drinking it for one and a half years. Give, it, would, give it a try. No. Nah, you got to be drunker think, to try? I would have thought my, my French tongue would have been a little bit better than it is right now. Yeah. Being this is a French brandy. Uh, Darvel Freyas, whatever. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's what the <laughs> fuck I'm drinking. F- Fredes? Five, Fredes? Favorite, one of my favorite French brandies. Actually, my favorite brandy, period. Not one of my favorite French brandies. I don't know of many other French brandies. Mm-hmm. Um, only, you know, only a couple things I'm, I'm cool with from French. I'm cool with French kissing. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a gun from France, so I oh. call it my French toast. Okay. And it's French brandy. I like that, French toast. Yeah. Yeah. I've been <laughs> <laughs> I've been on this French brandy with you a couple times. It's, 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 it's good. It's smooth. <laughs> yeah, it is. Shouts to shouts to the to the French. I'm on the Suntory, this Japanese whiskey, little um, blended whiskey from from Japan. I ain't, I still haven't forgiven them. You know, I, I, I'm for not what Pearl Harbor? That. Yeah, I'm not forgive. I'm, I, I'm not drinking that because I don't forgive them yet. Like Pearl, it's still too soon. It's still too it's soon. It's too soon. So I can't even drink that, man. Yeah, we I feel like we overkilled on the ass. We blew up two of these cities. No, it ain't enough. <laughs> they blew up boats. We blew up two whole they cities. They still exist. Japan is still there. Yeah. Nah, we ain't doing nothing. Then <laughs> you should have blown up the whole island. I'm just um, saying all of our equipment is Japanese, but no, that's okay. I said, I said, yeah. forgive him. Oh, I yeah, Yamaha. Everything, yeah, yeah. Everything for, is Japanese. I don't, uh, I don't forgive him just yet. Shasta JM, uh, if y'all remember, former host of the, of the Port Podcast, put me on this here. This is the Tori. Mm. And, I, and I fuck with Japan. And, and I don't have a, a applicable line like your French toast line, but they, <laughs> they're giving me a lot. They're giving me anime and, and, some, and, some, and some nice hentai porn. Like anime so, porn? Yeah. Oh, you watch that shit? I watch regular anime and porn anime. No, yeah. do you watch you watch anime porn? Yeah, I do both. Like I partake. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. Like, why you like that? Um... No, it ain't about a like. I, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I'm not always watching porn just like to beat off or nothing. What's just, wrong with your What's wrong with the thing? Yeah, let me like? get a sword, Claude. <laughs> yeah, get my Lupe on. Y'all, y'all ain't even ready. What's wrong with the things you like, man? Yeah, I'm I'm pr- trying to pretend like I'm not posing for a guru picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go, Claude. Um, what'd you say? Oh, the the hentai. Yeah, you know, do you always watch porn to beat off? Uh, yes. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I don't, I like I don't watch you, it for no other purpose. Not. If you just you just like just watching it, yeah. Sometimes you just watch it, just like on do some you, bullshit. Do you eat when you watch it? You just like nah. you, you no, it's not like eating. You just want more dinner. <laughs> no. You said you might want you to do. Then sometimes I'll be bored at work. I'll just throw some on just to, just for something to see. Wait, but like, wait, go ahead, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> No. But you're trying to make it seem like it's weird. I know for it's a fact a weird. you yeah, watch weird. watch porn for no reason. The problem is I know you're lying. The problem is that Steve and I kind of work at home right now, and yeah, and y'all. So y'all got the time like to beat off. Sitting in a car in a car in somebody's random neighborhood, just just. Yeah, but I'm not being up. I already said it. Oh. I already said it. I'm oh. not being up. You'll be 50 feet from school grounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you finna get charged. Fuck out of here, man. No, I know I for a fact you. you watch porn for no reason. No, you're lying. There's a reason. I don't just throw it on because it's a. I don't just throw it on because. I can't find nothing on YouTube. A world starting you, not popping. You're lying. Oh my God! I don't just I, throw on porn. I've known for hundred percent sure you've done it for no reason, just cause. Just like yeah, just something to throw on sometime. Nigga, nah. we've been in the same room, and porn has been on the TV. Not saying why we was, was this? No, reach out my memory. Why were we? Oh, we can take it as far back as Brian House when porns were just on the TV. We playing games. We kids though. Yeah, but it was on, and we weren't doing nothing. I'm talking just, about with my own on our own marriage. Yeah. Why? So you but I'm just saying, porn over, that's over. as far back as then. I've known even recently, more recently than that. I don't have like a, a verifiable time, but I know. I'm just being honest, man. Look, you, use a porn watching fool, no, and you def- ain't always I beating off. Definitely a and you ain't always beating off. I know that. Just so your fans know, in this studio, there's never porn on just randomly. We're man, that's a fact. Man, throw some porn on, Claude. Yeah, no, throw some porn on. I'm going to find the weirdest thing you can find. I'm a porn watch. I won't be the weirdest thing. I'm a porn watching pedestrian. Milking, table, shit. I don't know. Steve? What's some weird, weird, porn? weird porn that you watch? Oh, that I watch. I, yeah. see, I don't watch. The, the weird, I don't watch the that. The weirdest porn I can think of right now is just throwing it on just because. <laughs> For me, <laughs> it, it'd probably be some some of that shit that pop up in the hentai shit be wild. It'd be like, 
You motherfuckers are evil. Like octopuses, like yeah, like, sometimes. Like they them. got they got mm-hmm. different categories. They got some that be like regular, like it just be two people fucking, and then they got other ones where it be like tentacle porn. And this but, is all like animated, right? Yeah, they be uh, people animate the shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. If I'm not in I'm not in the subculture. Just sometimes <laughs> the shit pop up and you watch it. You see what's what? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Never, sometimes I, you I might never... be getting prepared for a rendezvous or something. Just you know, what I'm saying, get a little get a little pregame. <laughs> I don't know, you man. Fucking puppets? No. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Because you what rendezvous? You got to set the move. Are you about to meet a chick or something? All right. So hopefully she in the oh, anime. Oh, fucking puppet! I see. She's, yeah. I see hopefully she in the anime, man. You ever you ever um scared anyone off with those type of antics? You wild? Nah, not at all. All right. Fuck with some freak freak bitches. All right. You wild. <laughs> I'm, gl- I'm, I'm glad we get throw the, more. Throw the, the tentacle porn on while you're giving me head. Like, what's up, chick? Oh, you, so you imagine her being a, an octopus? Nah, just just something to be on TV, bro. What's a lady? What's a lady? What's y'all trying to make it sound what? weird? Hey, I know y'all out there watch porn for no no what? reason. What? From Ursula, that's where I'm going with. Thank I you. Already got, I already you got doing? the artwork for this for this <laughs> episode. Already done. Ursula from uh, <laughs> the Scott. Little, Little Mermaid? Mermaid. How you know that's what I was thinking of? Because you because octopus. Then what's the chick? You know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't give a good enough description. And yeah, that's good. I'm glad you knew where I was going. I think I was going there too. So. Oh, so y'all got thinking, so y'all got weird minds too. I was thinking, no, I was thinking, the art, what is the artwork I'm gonna do for this episode? What are you gonna do? Or you wanna hold it? Tentacles. You wanna hold it? Huh? Now what? Oh no, you're gonna see. It'll be fine. What, what if something else wilder happened later in the episode? Still. Well, since we're releasing in four parts now, I can do artwork. <laughs> so what's this week been like, man? It's been a whole lot of shit. Uh, Eric, man, this week been as far as work. I was working my ass off. I put in like sixty five hours. Had a good time, sarcastically. But um, I ain't really do too much outside of that. We had a couple sessions. Shout out to Shit Division Studios and oh, by the way, shout out to the team. Claude on the production and Guru on the, on the photography. We did a little. Uh, should we call it a photo shoot? I mean, a little marketing. We did a little something. Uh, See, I'm, Guru trying to expand his um. I don't know what should we endeavors, call it? horizons. Yeah, his 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 talents. Wear, put another hat on, if you will. You know what I mean? The last one was a little dusty. I'm glad he's switching it up. It had a little dust spot on it. And, it, and you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do things like that. How your week been? My week been prosperous. Um, Real good, as usual. You know, I made a couple hundred thousand dollars in the past uh, two days. And um, I'm not going to do nothing for my community. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and, that, and life is good. You been listening to clips again? <laughs> you mean you made a couple hundred thousand dollars in two days? You know, I just, I, you know what I'm saying? Things happen, you know. The birds fly south for the winter, and it's been summer for a long time, and things are happening. <laughs> the cryptic ass conversation. <laughs> are the feds listening? What the, what the hell? So I say all that to say this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? You got you got to sip slow on Sundays because things move fast at times. I hear you, man. I like that. Actually, I like that. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> that or just don't end up on one yourself. <laughs> Yo, we... um. We had a whole pregame meeting. What we was gonna do to lead into the show didn't do it at all. Uh, okay, but let's just get into let's it. Let's go on next clip then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Actually, I like it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just edit this whole part out so nobody knows what happened. A little behind the scenes. So let's skip that topic. Let's get into the Meg Tory thing. Let's let's go with your man Tory. Man, one of my favorite artists to ever grace a fucking mic, and he's not even from here. So yeah, Canadian. God damn it, man. I, I don't know. Um, they was at a party allegedly. Yeah, for those who don't know, I guess all right. They was at a party. It's one of the biggest news pieces of the week. I get all right, man. Fuck it. If did Tory do it? I no. What you think? I would. I would like to. I. I don't know. It's so bizarre. I can't say that. It's, it's such me, a bizarre story. Help me with this. I don't know what they were together in a vehicle. A gun went off. They are allegedly a couple, or whatever the case is. Oh, they're together. No, allegedly. I mean, it's kind of you kind of speculate. Speculate based on the fact that they were together. No, not just from that. But they were they were tip, they was together very often. Every time Tori would do his um quarantine radio, she was there, mm. and like just like kind of put two and two. Like yeah, why yeah, are y'all yeah. why she why are y'all she, always she, together if y'all not a couple? Just kind of y'all could be friends, but just it's a little two and two. And it's always just y'all two. <laughs> well, not really. It's a room full of when you do a quarantine radio. I've never it, seen one once. Just a small entanglement. That's all. Oh. So it's uh, like I I don't know. So we just assume they were together. Fast forward to this party it was at with um, Kylie Jenner or whatnot. Um, something happened within a vehicle to where she ended up being shot in her foot. It was wild how the news came out too because first it came out the Tory was arrested, like and on a it was a gunshot call. Police responded; they were in a car nearby. Uh, Tory got detained and and he had a gun on him unregistered. Then the next day, Meg came back with her release on IG, I believe it was, saying that. 
she was shot in the foot and that she was actually injured and believed that the person who injured her did it with intent to injure her mm. and that she had bullets removed from her foot. So it wasn't even like, it was like two separate press releases because I thought the gun thing was just a gun thing. I thought maybe Tori might have fired a shot off or something and cops came and you got to unregister weapon. But to hear that he shot her, may have shot her in the foot, Twitter went absolutely ape shit on this with the jokes, all the short jokes and all the all, all the shit that was happening with uh, at Tory. I would like to think uh, as a grown ass man, you you wouldn't first of all you wouldn't back out on a female period. Yeah, uh, but not only do you back out if you actually use the weapon on a female, mm-hmm. and then to make it even worse if this is a lady you're seeing. Like I don't know, I, I'm first and foremost I'm glad she okay. Yeah, been yeah, way definitely, worse. definitely. I don't know how I can receive Tory music the same anymore after this this shakes your respect for him you mean definitely shakes the respect because for one look what you did into a female mm-hmm. and like it's just weird like and what reason i don't think there's no reason i don't know under, but, listen, any, what could she possibly have done other for than you trying to, shoot to protect her in the foot? him himself yeah. Or, or unless maybe he was trying to reenact a movie. Maybe he wanted to try out for a movie part. Maybe he made a new Harlem Nights. <laughs> maybe he tried to try it out for the part quick. Remember Eddie Murphy in Harlem yeah. Nights when he shot yeah, at the Pinky yes, yes. Maybe they maybe, maybe they was reenacting a role and it went a little it, bit too far. It took, got you know too what? real. I tell you what. Maybe they was just joking around. You know what I'm saying? They're laughing. Uh-huh. They're making jokes. And they was like, you know what? Let's reenact the scene off of Harlem Nights. And he played the part as quick. <laughs> And he didn't realize he had one in the head. The clip was the clip could have been out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't realize one was in the head. Mm-hmm. And he didn't check. They drunk. That's never an excuse, but let's just say that was. Mm-hmm. And they they acting out. Shoot me in my pinky toe. You know what I'm saying? He looks at he looks at Kylie. He looks at a limo driver. He he pops off and didn't realize there was one. Kylie Jenner. Yeah, she was she was around. She was there too. Yeah, same beginning. He was at the pool party. All that. Was, I mean, in the I thought this I happened in the vehicle. Was in the vehicle. I thought it was just making him. That's crazy. No, nah, there was definitely another. There was other people, not just him. Make so, they, so there's people. witnesses to what actually happened. Yeah, but that don't mean they're going to say anything. Of course, but then again, if he actually Speaking intended, there's actually TMZ has confirmed there's there's footage. Yeah, like real footage Damn. of what happened. So there's going to come out eventually. Yeah. So as it stands right now, I think pretty people pretty safe in the public court of, court of public opinion, believing that he did it. That's that's pretty much what the jokes have been. He shot her. She didn't explicitly say he shot me, but she said whoever, however I was harmed, it was done with intent, was what the post said. But I yeah, don't know. But until we figure out exactly, because just because that yeah, doesn't, still I, doesn't mean Tori was the shooter. The shooter, yeah, it could have been Kylie. Why are we fucking up? I no, I literally have no idea. Um, I've been seeing like all the jokes, the short jokes. They they were talking about how short this man is. He like five three. I want to say. I'm not sure. Is that, like, he he. That's pretty short for a dude. And I'm not saying she's super tall, but she got to be at least taller than him. Uh, I've seen Yosemite Sam jokes out there. I've seen just any anything you could think of. There's a, you know, the meme where the dad was grabbing the kid by the back of the shirt and, like, hustling him along. You got to see the shit look funny as fuck. It was like, this was Tori getting arrested by the cops type shit. All right. It, just a whole bunch of just short jokes, gun jokes, and, and all kind of. It, it, it's a weird situation, man. I I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this shakes my listening to him. It ain't like I well, listen to him a whole really lot anyway. anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I, but I wonder if people as a whole are gonna fuck with him because he can be canceled if that's domestic violence related and he really went full Chris Brown beyond what Chris Brown went. It, it just looks wild. I don't think. I, don't, I think. I don't think he'll be canceled. Um, we music is a little different, and again, mm-hmm. we always have to remember Six Nine still is putting out. His and Tory wasn't charting. as big as Chris was either. And Rihanna ain't as big as... Well, I will say currently he's one of the biggest artists today. So is Meg. It's definitely one of the biggest artists today. But they weren't... Neither are big as Chris and Rihanna were when that happened. I don't... Possibly that... that, that they were, even with that they were true, outside of hip-hop famous. They were right, but uber this, famous. But we also now have the internet. Chris was in a double... Did we had it then? I know, but not like now. Everything progresses. The internet won't be today how, mm-hmm. how it will be one year from now. I agree. I'm just saying. Chris, Chris was in a double mint commercial. He had endorsements to lose. I don't know what endorsements Tory got, but it ain't, it ain't that... Right. Big for like, for uh, what's the what's the Good Morning America ain't gonna be talking about this. Is is kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, well, we'll see as details unfold because yeah. I, I don't know how who will be. I, I have no idea. I, like, it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to be it's going to be around for a lot longer because we already don't know the. Yeah, we don't have enough information. And as things do does unfold, mm-hmm. it brings it back up again. It right back, back up out. again, exactly. Um, one other thing too is the the victimization. Not saying that being shot isn't as big as being beat up. But the pictures of Rihanna being beat up was a was jarring. Mm-hmm. May got shot. 
which sounds crazy, but already people making it into the to the uh, Harlem Knights joke. Like it's already it's already turned. You know, what I'm saying it ain't as and that's serious. A big dif- that's yeah. that's exactly the difference between Chris and Rihanna, and and, and Megan Tory. Because t- if the, if Chris and Rihanna happened today, you know how many memes and other things would have circulated and would have been a joke right away. Versus back then, yeah, memes was popping, but not like now. Now it's way different. Yeah. I don't know, man. That that shit. She looked beat up. Like he threw forty punches at her. That was a beating over time. Tori could have accidentally shot Meg. I'm pretty sure uh, people were ready to cancel Chris. Yeah, like back then. Yeah. I, I mean, I think you think they want to make memes now. You, you of course they would. They didn't. Yeah. The don't memes care. would happen, but, but I don't think the greater majority of people would. The, the, like the, if you want to try to shoot, you're welcome. I guess the. The, don't trust we him. can say that Tori accidentally <laughs> shot her. Even if they were fucking around, he accidentally shot her. You know, and people was, still gonna get these jokes off, no matter what but you happens. Can make a joke, but how you accidentally beat somebody's ass though? That's, yeah, that's you, what I'm saying. Like, you don't, don't accidentally throw 40, 50 people, punches. I don't know the Chris and Rihanna thing. People don't care. Like not saying the internet is a savage place. People, like that, someone's not gonna care, and someone's gonna do right. whatever they, and then right. it's gonna make its rounds. It's all there's a hundred million people that care deeply, and there's hundred million that don't give don't a fuck, give fuck at all. So you know what's gonna happen? The ones that don't give a fuck is gonna circulate the memes. Hell, Fifth was getting in on the on the meme on the meme fun, posting shit about them. Y'all gotta y'all gotta do your searches because we don't have like a, you know, like poking fun of who? Uh, Tori and and uh, Meg. Well, I'm not shocked that I'm not shocked at that part though. No, I wasn't about to say it to be shocking. He did it. I was just saying that he did. It. Mm. Look him up. I'm sure it was funny. Fifth, Fifth was a pretty funny guy. Oh, that's all I gotta say about that situation. I guess we're talking about beating up people. We can jump in. Uh, I was gonna ask you about um. You know what? And you mentioned Chris Brown. I guess it kind of even answers my question. <laughs> the fact I was going to ask you. All right, Chad was Chad Ocho Cinco was asked the other day on his Twitter, like, how did he stay so positive? Whatever case was, mm-hmm. he mentioned somewhere along the lines was um he lost his cool one time for three seconds that cost him everything he had, and then he got it all back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But of that, Evan Lazada, which was his wife at the time, who he assaulted, she replied to the shit. She replied, yeah, because people. <laughs> See, we we just asked if it was funny yeah. about the, but you're laughing. You you a laugh at uh, a meme. You do what you. I would laugh at at her replying to his, his his whatever he was doing. That's that's. He, I'm not laughing at the fact that she got domestically abused. Mm-hmm. Laughing at the fact that he was trying to, you know, respond positively. Yeah, he 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 was answering a question to a fan, and she made sure to nah nah. Right, and she posted with her pictures, and she was pretty. It looked horrible as well. Big gash on the head Damn. from the head, but at that time back in that day. Yeah. So, my my question was if he could ever live that down. But in the same breath, it kind of answered me because he maybe can't live it down because we talking about Tori and Meg, but yet Chris Brown still made it, and this had nothing to do with it. So maybe after you commit a a violent crime on your spouse on that in that type of light, mm-hmm. there is no living down. Your name will always be oh you will always be up. attached to that, especially if your your spouse is able to do what this chick did, which is make sure. Now nah, don't try to downplay this shit. Here here's what happened kind of thing like don't let time downplay this here's what happened but is it even fair is it fair to like is it fair for Pete for the for his fans to just completely write it off and forget it is it fair because the fact is this woman still has she still has these memories her children have seen her her face like I, they y'all like even though they separated for years by now whatever yeah he gets to go off and live and be all and right this mr positive mr yeah. great guy but still there's traumas on her end and on her children and that still have images and you can google them of her mother's face just all brutally battered i don't know about fair i don't know if this these type of situations can never be fair um because you got the the the, uh assailant trying to move on and the victim who can't necessarily move on maybe with some therapy and some time but um i do believe that if he served whatever penalty needed to be served for that he shouldn't have to live with that forever ever you know, he definitely, he definitely it, it, his. It could be a footnote in his history, but it shouldn't dictate whether he get future work or right. not. You know what I mean? And that does look pretty bad. That's a severe headbutt. Jesus. Oh, she's saying it took longer than three seconds. I don't know who made this. This had nothing to do with her. I'm just showing you. Oh, I thought this was her I snap. I'm just showing you the picture of her gash on her head of, yeah, of a headbutt. So, so just because you have grown and might have learned from your mistake, what about the the victim here? Just like, just like any, 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 um, well, I guess, I guess to, to that's what I'm looking for any, um, assaultant, damn, I can't think of a better name. Battery? Anything when they, let's say a rapist, like yeah. just because, oh damn, you know what? I realized what I do is wrong. So y'all should just forgive me and let me move on. What about the people you 
who can't get past what you did to them. Well, this is a, this is kind of an age old debate because you have you have these situations where somebody may go on and make history or or do something different to change the the limelight of what their name is attached to, and then you do have their past victims who say, "But wait, I still live with these issues." Um, the president, for one, uh, you got people like Martin Luther King. Hell, I was just talking about Hamilton last week and his play. People talk about, hey, this play kind of made him look really good, but he, you know, he may have had something to do with slavery. It's one of those weird things where it's like you'll always be able to try to move on, and then somebody will always bring up what you did. You know what I mean? Like, right. and but, it's just a, that's but historical figure. But do you feel it's unfair? For I believe someone? both are fair. I believe it's fair for me to try to move on, and I believe it's fair for my victims to try to remind people that I did a thing. Mm-hmm. I agree. It, but w- that's why I said, I guess the question I'm flip back on you, when someone serves their time, if I do some harm to you and this is what the court deems my penalty is, I serve my time. No, your memories don't go away, but I've been penalized. So that doesn't make it even, but is that not justice enough? Like, why do I have to live with that forever, ever? Because they have to live with it forever, ever. Your penalty. I think it's fair both ways. Like, like, but your penalty is just like they have to live with the memories. You have to live with the stigma of having to dig yourself out of that. And I always grew. I grew up with a mom that said it takes thirty seconds to get into trouble and a lifetime to get out of trouble. Mm-hmm. And if you do something as heinous as rape, uh, battery, things of that nature, that's something that you're gonna have to live Facts. with. Yeah, murder. You just have to. And and that's why I said I think it's Seriously. fair. I think it's fair both ways. I think should, it's- should you not be allowed to vote? Should you not be allowed to get a job? I'm with you on that. That not necessarily might be the right. That, but your victim, your victim right. does deserve the right but to bring the shit up every time. You got to live with yeah. the stigmas. You got to live with. I'm a batterer. I'm, mm-hmm. a, I'm a rapist. That, that's why you got to register. Like there's things that you just got to live with. Facts. Because you made that decision. Do and you like think said, it takes a lifetime to make up for that decision? Do y'all think that if he answered it differently, maybe with the who is he? Ocho Cinco, the the initial question that started the convo, which was um, how do you keep you cool? If he if he say. Uh, no, not, he was asked how like how are you so positive, so positive all like all the time. But if if he answers the question differently, like I've made mistakes in the past, and I, I've tried my best to amend for those mistakes, and being positive is the avenue that I'm taking going forward in my life. Maybe she doesn't jump on the, no. on the live and say what she it said. It wasn't live. All she did was reply I mean, she, under the tweet. But yeah, you know, um, no, I disagree. I think I think he went wrong by trying to down by trying to underestimate or um, so downplay. downplay the situation he was in. He's literally said. I I'm positive because I lost my cool one time for three. Se- and she said it wasn't just one time. Yeah. So that, so when you start to try to minimize certain things, what he should have said, well, he shouldn't even have referenced that situation. If yeah, he, he wanted to just... answer the question. Um, I learned from past mistakes and I, and I could have referred to anything at all. Yeah. Like, and that, that's what I was say saying. It. If he came at the answer differently, then maybe she doesn't, come in and try to correct the record maybe acknowledging he, his faults would have been a better avenue he clearly he did acknowledge his faults because he said he lost one time for three, three seconds is downplaying but the problem it. is he brought up he brought this back up yeah. and and people tag people when you're rich and famous or mm-hmm. he's just famous oh I'm sure she got added immediately you, you get people get tagged you get texts you get all these types especially of things. people who are on your side if people and people on the victim side would easily be like no, like as a because as, there's other people that were victims as well mm-hmm. who didn't peripheral victims who who, did, who, did, who maybe not had gotten away like Chad mm-hmm. Chad really got off mm-hmm. he 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 was able to bounce back great I'm glad you should not be able to you shouldn't be poor and just have to live in sh- in in sh- be, yeah squalor yeah, for the rest of your <laughs> life that as well but also when you victimize someone you also should not get to be like you know what I'm in through therapy. My bad for what I did to you. My life's gonna go on. I'm gonna be continue to be rich and famous and be idolized, and women are gonna keep throwing themselves at me, and people are gonna look up to me, and they want to learn how to run routes and be the best wide receiver, and I'm just the best ever. And, I, I and totally then the agree. victim constantly being victim blamed. Can, yeah, but he can get that. He can get that. But he also still got the footnote will always be there. Yeah, the he foot got an asterisk. It's a it's a footnote That's in your history. And it's, and While it's you such, may be this guy, we also know you'll be that guy. Yeah. Out of my curiosity, has he done anything for? Uh, awareness or foundations I don't know. To, see that's another thing he that's, should that's and could be, he doing. be doing yeah and maybe he that did his, I don't know yeah, yeah we don't know if he did but. Do that. I don't yeah. know you don't you don't downplay your shit it by saying one time for three seconds especially if you know you it, it did doesn't other shit. but it, it doesn't help Evelyn's case when she's on um whatever reality show not real housewives whatever that basketball wise or whatever the fuck it is mm-hmm. it doesn't help her case when she's actively the aggressor in starting fights as well it doesn't help your case mm. because obviously that helps his side was like maybe he was defending himself not saying it's cool to headbutt your wife don't ever do that no but maybe but he was antagonized it, that 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 makes people try yeah. to give excuses so it doesn't help but still 
it's not okay to victimize the victim. Never. You should never victimize the victim. Um, so I guess at it, the end of the day, I guess maybe some shit you just can't live down. Circling back real quick to the make Tory thing, your screen clot. What? <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I found it for y'all. It says 50 Cent. What 50 Cent posted was, uh, run, Ricky, run. What the fuck is really going on? And it has uh, May is it's Ricky mm-hmm. and um, your boy is, is I don't even know who the character. Yeah, the shooter from the red car. Yeah, uh, so that's, that is pretty. That's, that's, you see that's, that's fifty. That yeah, feels yeah. like classic fifty. Yeah, so. Damn Tori, damn Ocho, y'all gonna live with this one forever. Right, um, so, let's, so we'll be back after this little short break. Mm-hmm. 